So the Wendell Phillips neighborhood was in what has historically been known as the Jazz District in our city. And that relates to a time mostly in the 30s and 40s when the 18th and Vine area was a real jazz hub. I mean, home of Charlie Parker and Count Basie and other people. It was also kind of a, a thriving um, commercial district, small commercial district of the African-American community. This is the cradle. This is the cradle of the African-American community for Kansas City, the African-American community that also was the home of the best barbecue in the world, and home of the best jazz in the world, and home of the best baseball players in the world. And then over the course of years, uh, all of that changed. You know, people moved out and there wasn't as much jazz there and all of that. And then the area uh, began to fall into decline. Because of the segregation policies that existed, east of Troost was um, where African-Americans could live and uh, they couldn't go past 27th Street. And that's one of the reasons the Urban Neighborhood Initiative, our organization, decided to focus in a corridor of neighborhoods along Truce because it had a lot of symbolic value that we're just east of this historic racial dividing line and that's what we're going to uh, work to move. At the beginning of the Urban Neighborhood Initiative, uh, one of the things the community recommended was to look at the purpose-built community model in Atlanta. Uh, we saw the housing, we saw the community improvement, we saw the history, but most importantly, um, each of us agreed that when we went to the school and we saw the kids, uh, that's where it all changed. That's where we said, yeah, that's the thing we need to be working on. KCNA was born out of the partnership between the Urban Neighborhood Initiative and purpose-built communities, really looking to bring a school to Kansas City that could replicate the Drew Charter School model out of Atlanta. And so similar to Drew, we have a literacy lab and a mathematics lab really focused on supporting those tier three students. We're really intentional around our early learning program, offering two pre-K classrooms to service families to give those early learning experiences just like it Drew. We're working to replicate the STEAM and project-based approach that draws families and children to Drew and quite honestly that's what drew me to the work. That we were replicating a school that had been very successful serving students of similar demographics but also part of a larger neighborhood revitalization effort. Well I think we're th certainly looking to diversify the neighborhood socioeconomically. So uh, we want to break that cycle of poverty by providing uh, quality housing for people that already live in the neighborhood, but also attract other people to the neighborhood of different incomes. When I think about community wellness, I think about it in terms of the social determinants of health, things like chronic stress, uh, living in neighborhoods, um, you know, where there's a lot of crime, violence, gunshots, the impact that has on individual health, but particularly on children, are hugely, hugely impactful. When you have, you know, green spaces, when you have walkable communities, when you have healthy food options, are there recreational resources that you can access in your own neighborhood? Those are all critically important for individual health and for community health, and that's all part of what we know we have to address vibrant community is only as strong as its um, most struggling folks. And investment in the core of our city is critical to the success of our families and our children uh, and our businesses. And it doesn't help to show up in a community and tell people what they need. The key part of the Urban Area Initiative is to go to the community and ask them what they need and then try to be responsive. Why should people care about what happened to this community? Why should people care about uh, having an invisible line that cut us off from living in, on the other side of truce? Why should it matter that when you go to have house insurance that they ask you what zip code you live in? Why should we care? We should care about that because we are not a city, we are not a community of people until 
all people have the same opportunities and have the same rights. We're building a new tomorrow. We're building a new community. We're ready to make a difference.